Megan's too busy making the most insensitive, tone-deaf, ill-timed hard launches and relaunches on the planet. This alleged source added that Megan has a keen eye and a freakish attention to detail. Oh, really freakish attention to detail, really? How come you can't keep any of your stories straight then? And how come you always dress like that? Neither one screams a freakish attention to detail. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. I hope you can hear the smile in my voice because we have a funny one to read today and I'm excited to talk about this with you guys thanks for being here I'm Jen Hong Kong everyone that's right the <laughs> the beige one is back we know this I've been talking about it for days now about the um new whatever you call this thing <laughs> this ghost wandering around the halls supposed to be relatable totally missing the mark <laughs> blurry beige monstrosity is back uh launching this whatever this blog lifestyle thing is absolutely bonkers but um i have a funny article that kind of dives into it and really kind of has a lot of fun with it. So I'm excited to read this with you. So without further ado, let's take a look. All right, this is courtesy of Daily Mail. And I know I can hear you all. I don't like it either. I'm going to read this. I don't like the first part, but don't worry. We won't go hard into that. Let's talk about the main part of this. Here we go. William and Catherine are in crisis as never before. I just don't know about that. So how grimly predictable of Megan to come crashing in with this basic beige relaunch. Again, beige. So much beige. And Maureen Callahan warns such trashy royalty for sale is exactly what the late queen always feared. So let's get into this. Let's, let's have a conversation about this. Here we go. Just when you think Meghan Markle might display some of that kindness she just loves to extol, well, she can't. She won't. Isn't that funny? I, I, I mean, I'm already cutting in, but I just can't stand it. I feel the same way. What about that? I mean, just days ago, she was giving that. Again, YouTube doesn't like the word, so I have to mispronounce it on purpose, but the cyber bull talk. And yet we've seen her followers be the absolute worst. And in my opinion, they've been the all-time worst in the last, I don't know, two weeks or so. Um, ever since this Catherine photo thing has been going on in the news, they've just been the absolute worst. And yet she can give speeches about things like that and yet not call off her followers. She can talk about things like kindness and not display any of it. What else is new, right? I don't expect anything different at this point. On the same evening that her husband, my husband, that's her favorite thing to say, the, you know, the feminist she is, my husband, and his estranged brother, Prince William, appeared separately in award ceremony honoring their late mother. And as speculation about Catherine, Princess of Wales' illness, the family photo and even the strength of her marriage reach a fever pitch, Meghan launches a lifestyle brand on Instagram. What's worse? Hours later, she and Harry announced the winner of their very own $100,000 NAACP Digital Civil Rights Award through R12. Meghan Markle, much like nature, abhors a vacuum. American Riviera and Orchard is the, I just can't say that. It does not roll off the tongue. And it, believe me, I can't stand Harry and Meghan. It's not even that. I mean, if I just look at it objectively, it really is a terrible, terrible name. You'd think that they do some research into that. And I hear that it, when you Google it, it pulls up a bank. I think it's American Riviera Bank, which I find very funny. Um, <laughs> American Riviera Orchard is the latest addition to brand Sussex, and it's as beige and basic as that one. <laughs> this is the one time I will say the title because it's funny, as our Duchess of Despair and her endless grievances. The urgent text message from a friend said it all. I can't cope. <laughs> Who among us can, especially those of us Stuck with them stateside. Here, here. Maureen continues by saying, let's get one thing straight. We don't call our coasts Rivieras in America. They're beaches. 
lake fronts or bays. We love them. We sunbathe by them. We, ooh, what's that word? I haven't seen that one. Per- <laughs> I should probably know it, but I don't know it. That one. And picnic and walk our dogs. But we don't call them Rivieras. Amen. As for the, uh, as for that orchard, it's clearly meant to evoke her and Harry's grand 14 million estate in Montecito, replete with fruit trees, a chicken coop, and rose gardens. My opinion, and many of yours, because I've seen all the comments, it's also meant to invoke Highgrove House, uh, King Charles's orchard. They actually have orchard tea room there and estate shop and an arboretum and it's beautiful and i believe they're trying to tap into that again they can never stray too far they have to do something that's like look at us see royal <laughs> while bashing the royal family of course but back to that 14 million dollar montecito shit show olive garden you know the things that average American women can relate to, as inflation kills the dream of ever owning a starter home. But buy Megan's overpriced kitchenware. <laughs> oh, does she remain as on brand as ever? By which I mean, mass of contradictions. Ding, ding, ding. That's what I've been screaming as well. Let's break this relaunch down while holding close the notions of compassion. Lifting up our fellow women, except Catherine, of course, because Catherine made her cry. Holding space and begging for privacy while continuing on the worldwide privacy tour. Oh my goodness, I love that she's broken it down like this. This is exactly what's got, I mean, it just keeps me riveted. These two cannot stop contradicting themselves, being hypocritical. You know, I, I, I'm a broken record at this point, but I won't stop talking about it because here we are. And can, might I add to while we're discussing it, lifting up fellow women and claiming to what, give them voices or help them be heard, you know, all that, those platitudes that uh, Megan likes to peddle. And claiming she's a feminist, still nothing about the African parks. Still nothing. All right. Uh, Let's see here. We open the promotional video with a woman's hand arranging pink and white roses against the backdrop of grayish, that gray beige color. The film filtered to look old timey. I would say to look old money. While Nancy Wilson... And I defy anyone under the age of 50 to know who that is. Ooh, don't kill me over that. I know I got a million comments saying you actually, you really like Nancy Wilson saying that she is half of the band Heart, I believe. Um, Let's see here. Sings a fusty big band swing time sound. I wish you love. And Maureen continues on and says, ha, Meghan Markle, know thyself. Surely if she wished anyone love. Least of all, her estranged, suffering in-laws, including King Charles, currently fighting cancer, she would have pushed pause on this most unnecessary brand reveal. No, she wouldn't. Uh, We knew she would do this. Her timing is always awful. I I I have to go on a side trip here and say, remember when their mouthpiece, their lapdog, Omid, tried to claim, oh no, they they never do this on purpose. I have a whole video where I show times where that is not the case. They absolutely do this stuff on purpose. They timed this launch minutes before William was supposed to speak. And Harry was also supposed to speak after William's done. Ha ha on that, by the way. I'm sure it'll give... Harry fodder for his next book, but um, it's not fair. My brother got to go first. He got the bigger breakfast sausage. Yeah, he broke my necklace. Anyway, makes me love William even more. Where was I going with that? Goodness. Um, yeah, so they obviously knew what time everything was happening. Don't let them lie to you and try to convince you otherwise. So they so did this on purpose. They do everything on purpose. All right, I think calculated is the word I'm going for there. Then again, Megan has always gratuitously inserted herself into narratives, into victimhood, into our very lives with unrelenting force. So why not the lifestyle cooking wellness space? God knows that's not overcrowded. What with Goop, Martha Stewart, Oprah, and any number of Kardashians. Our next shot is a fuzzy, soft focus look at Megan from a distance, whipping something up in her kitchen while wearing an expensive looking white top, as so many of us do, 
right? I meant to mention that too. There's always something. I tell you, there's always something. I hit upload on my video and then I think of something else and I kick myself. It's usually, <laughs> you guys like point out wonderful and really funny things in the comments and I kick myself for not thinking of it or not getting it in before hitting upload. So that was one of them. She wore a white top while cooking. Of course. Jeez. Ah, so out of touch. Um, let's see here. Um, because when we think of Megan, immediately we think of cooking, sweets, treats, right? The jams and preservatives she's going to sell here along with a forthcoming cookbook. Yes, a few public figures of our time evoke hearth and warmth, the comforts of home and family, family unity as she does. I'm still stuck on this. She's still saying it's about the things she loves the most and then just pictures of herself. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Oh my God, it's not a kid in sight. What else would you expect? Um, and, it, and you know, now that we're talking about it, if we're really talking about it, I, and I don't even love talking about it, but I can't not say it. So she's promoting cooking and sweets and comfort and rocky and like, I don't know, showing off the work of some sort of effort, whatever you believe is going on there, some sort of weight loss situation and ever changing faces. And, um, and again, not ever exuding any kind of warmth whatsoever. And here we are trying to sell it to us all. Hmm. How's that going to go? <laughs> I have the sneaking suspicion. I know the answer to that. Yes. Few public figures of our time. Oh yeah. I already read that part. Let's see this action shot as it were is followed by a looking down an arched stone hallway at a woman in a silhouette dressed in a black ball gown for day. <laughs> Could this be our Duchess? Nope, not our Duchess. Nope, nope, nope. I don't use the title. Not that one. But yeah, it's so weird. Let me get the picture so we can laugh at it again. Here it is. I know you've seen it. I don't care. We have to look at it again. It's like a ghost wandering around. <laughs> She's haunting, I don't even know where this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be her house? She's haunting her own house. I don't believe it's her house though. I don't know why. I know it's selling the Montecino Olive Garden. I wish I could give credit to who coined that. Was it the Royal Rogue? Maybe it was him. But um, <laughs> whoever did, it's brilliant. But um, here she is haunting wherever she is. I guess it's her. All I could think is, isn't this the outfit I said it before from Jamaica? I mean, did we just slap that back on? We didn't get ridiculed enough for that. We're just walking around in that. Yeah, a ball gown in daylight. We can all relate to that. You know, she she's, I don't know what she's selling here. No mention of the kids. And and yet in other times we see her, I, I had to stop and get the kids some milkshakes. That's why I was late. I mean, just throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks, I suppose. Let's keep going with this article, though, as she haunts wherever she's at. Um, let's see here. Um, where do we leave off? Oh, no, we read this. So black ball gown. Could this be that one? Against a bright sky, she seems to bend down to pet a dog and then stands back up to dot, dot, dot. Well, it's unclear why she's all the way back there, or what she's even doing. None of it's clear. It is so crazy. This is meant to be, what, a teaser, a promotional thing, but it's so blurry. These pictures are the best of the blurry video, meaning, like, you really can't make out what's going on. Then we flash to the title card, American Riviera Orchard, written in the style of Megan's famed him. <clears throat> Calligraphy, question mark? No, no, not calligraphy, just weird swoopy cursive. With a vaguely royal insignia hovering above, all in thin gold embroidery. Class or trash? I vote the latter. This is everything that the late Queen Elizabeth threaded, those two commodifying royalty, using it to shill some copper cookware and start an imitation Ina Garden. There is no other Ina Garden show while capitalizing on their family, never more in crisis than right now. As the king has withdrawn from his public duties, as the slimmed down monarchy suffers among Catherine, Princess of Wales, prolonged absence, 
Megan applies for a U.S. trademark to sell tablecloths, napkins, glasses, decanters, jams, and jellies. It's pedestrian verging on camp. The more seriously Megan takes herself, the more per- her personal brand suffers. The more she exploits her grasping desire for fame and relevance, the further she falls in the public's estimation. Oh, I am dying to see how this is going to play out because she wasn't she already in the negative. She was very, very low in the approvals, uh, whatever that is, the approval ratings. And I got to figure after more of this and after everything that Catherine's been through, I, yeah, I would think this would put her at one of the all time lows. This and that, um, mock curtsy thing, I would think would do that. Um, the ball gown, that ball gown, the idea that we can't get too close a look at her. What is this? The fall of Sodom and Gomorrah? Will we all turn into pillars of salt if we see her? Quick question. Will Megan be selling salt? Not just any salt, mind you. Like pink salt, sea salt from the world's rarest, most exotic bodies of water. Rivieras, if you will. It continues on with the thrust of any celebrity's lifestyle brand is hubris. It's premised on the self-belief the founder that almost every other woman wants to be her. Who wants to be Meghan Markle? Unbelievably, her new Instagram account has racked up over 250,000 followers and counting in the few hours since it launched. See, I wouldn't give it that much credit. Yes, it has. Use your own judgment on this because there are ways to have followers happen. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying there are ways to have that happen. Um, But also, again, I think it was Brittany over at Royal News Network pointed out that's quite a contrast. I think it was overnight they were at 250,000. That's quite a contrast within a few hours. Last time, a couple years ago when they launched, they had a million. I think it was a million, something like that. Um, within a few hours and now overnight 250. That's not, that's not great, but it shows, I guess, where they're at. All right. Um, let's see here. Even though the account follows no one else. Recall earlier this week, the quotes of a source claiming to be close to Harry and Meghan, though since deleted by the couple, sorry, not deleted, denied by the couple, (laughs) I promise that was a slip. Um, in the wake of Catherine taking the blame for that Photoshop fail, and I'll never believe that Catherine was responsible, we were told this isn't a mistake Megan would ever make. I know. I'm still sick over that whole thing. She would never do something like that. And then, of course, my channel and so many other channels that I love have called that out and shown all the ways that she absolutely has and would make all kinds of mistakes. I mean, Photoshop fails left and right. Of course not. Megan's too busy making the most insensitive, tone-deaf, ill-timed hard launches and relaunches on the planet. In case we didn't get the message, this alleged source added that Megan has a keen eye and a freakish attention to detail. Really freakish attention to detail, really. How come you can't keep any of your stories straight then? And how come you always dress like that? Neither one screams a freakish attention to detail. Must have been what cost her that lucrative Spotify deal. It's that kind of work ethic that led executive Bill Simmons to call both her and Harry lazy blanking grifters who did very little work and had terrible ideas. It's that kind of attention to detail that kept Meghan from ever Googling the Windsors. Yeah, right. And especially Prince Harry until she met him. Or from thinking that the British royal family, the revered Queen Elizabeth especially, were like characters out of medieval times. It's Meghan's keen eye that took an instruction on how to curtsy to the Queen and gave us a sarcastic, deeply contemptuous recreation that is in that Netflix series. An undeniable act of mockery that left even Harry looking pained. So forgive us, Megan, if we still fail to buy what you're selling, even if it's just some cloth napkins and overpriced jam. Ding, 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 go Marine. Yeah, I, I love this so much. I, I 
There's just, it's just chef's kiss. It's brilliant. So well said. Everything I'm feeling right now summed up so well. I love this. I love this so much. And um, I think it's how a lot of us are feeling right now. I'm, I'm here for it. And I'm so glad that it's being called out. And um, at least everybody hasn't lost their minds because so many people have. And by people, I mean like mainstream media. And of course, I don't think the sugar's ever had it, but um, here you go. Uh, as more stuff like this comes out, you know I'll talk about it. If there's an article you want me to cover, leave me comments in the uh, leave me comments about that. Guys, thank you as always for being here and supporting the channel. Just unbelievable these two, and and I'm just very curious to see what excuse they'll give when this fails spectacularly. Will it be one of the ist words? thrown around or will it be that oh we got another huge opportunity so we had to let this one go whatever it is who knows I'm sorry I've just looked up and got distracted by whatever that is up top there it looks like a spider it looks like a woman's reproductive system some people think it looks like a boob up top I don't know what's going on I really don't know I really thought it was H and M mixed together but no it's this Whatever the words are, again, the orchard thing, I guess, mixed together with a crown. I, who knows? This is just nonsensical. Is That's that keen eye for detail, that freakish level of detail that Megan prides herself on, right? Jeez. Guys, thank you so much for being here. You know it means the whole wide world to me. I really do appreciate it. Um, this article gave me some much needed laughs. You guys have given me much needed laughs in the comments. I appreciate this. The one that I continue to feel for, of course, is Catherine, Princess of Wales, wishing her a speedy recovery, health and rest and all the things, right? Um, as well as King Charles, of course, continued health for him and recovery. Thank you for everything. You know, I appreciate you all so very much. I truly do. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to further support, definitely check out the merch. We got Not Bloody Likely, which is how I feel about going to Megan's website or Instagram for that matter. Uh, that's why I keep using these daily mail photos because I have not clicked on the Instagram or the website and I will not. But um, anyway, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting. Uh, if you also want to support, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where we do bonus episodes, deep dives, all the Bonus stuff is, is going up over there every few days. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Thank you guys for supporting. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. Definitely check out my channel. Tra my, geez, I'm tired. My travel channel, if you haven't already. got um, But I got all kinds of fun stuff going up over there as well. I'm slowly trickling out my videos and trying to build up that channel. So if you don't mind giving it a subscribe and a watch you know, I appreciate that very much. I'll put the link in the comments below. Take care. Have the best day. Bye-bye.